Welcome to today's webinar, Apple Device Management for Beginners. I'm Katie English, and I'll be taking you through today's presentation. Thank you very much for joining us. First, let's start off with a quick look at the agenda. We're going to talk through a high level about Jamf and what we do. Then we'll talk through an overview of what device management means. We'll discuss the different Apple programs and services available to help with Apple deployments. After that, we'll take a look at the management lifecycle of Apple devices through the lens of Jamf Pro. We'll dig into best practices for infrastructure planning, where we'll look into some technical details on how Jamf Pro can fit into your infrastructure, and we'll end with Q&A. So we'll get started with a little bit about Jamf. Our mission is to help organizations succeed with Apple. Our precise focus allows us to provide a best-in-class product for organizations to manage their Apple technology. And we do that by enabling workflow outcomes we call trusted access, which means only authorized users on enrolled devices that are secure and compliant can access sensitive data. Jamf's Apple Enterprise Management Solutions are here to help organizations connect, manage, and protect Apple devices. In today's webinar, we'll be diving into many of the challenges the enterprise faces when it comes to securely connecting users to resources, efficiently managing devices and apps, and protecting data, devices, and privacy. We'll discuss solutions to those challenges with a combination of our three enterprise-focused products, Jamf Pro, Jamf Connect, and Jamf Protect. A major benefit of choosing Jamf to manage your Apple fleet is our commitment to something we call same-day support. Same-day support means less work for you, faster access to new Apple features for your end users, and better control for your admins. For 12 years running, Jamf has delivered support for new operating systems, macOS, iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, and most recently visionOS, the day they're released. If your power users are craving that hot new feature from Apple, it is easy to kick off a mass operating system upgrade across your entire Apple fleet. On the flip side, if you want to pause the availability of new operating system, you can delay operating system upgrades for up to 90 days so your team can take time to test and validate before making the OS available to everyone. Jamf remains laser-focused on helping you succeed with Apple, and same-day support is one major benefit you'll enjoy for choosing ecosystem management. Finally, the numbers speak for themselves. More than 75,000 organizations rely on Jamf solutions to manage and secure over 32 million Apple devices around the world. So as we're looking at how Apple device management works, let's first take a look at Apple's programs and services, which will support you as an IT administrator. Jamf works by leveraging Apple's push notification service, or APNS, to maintain a constant connection to your devices. It's the same service that sends notifications from your favorite app to your Apple device. All communication happens back to your Jamf Pro server and is kept secure. You can send various commands, apps, and profiles to your managed devices. This is known as Mobile Device Management, or MDM, and it works on iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, visionOS, and macOS devices. We also support Apple's newer iteration of the MDM protocol, Declarative Device Management, which provides instructions to devices to behave autonomously and report back to the management server when events complete. On the Mac, we take it one step further and install an agent for advanced Mac management. We'll take a deeper look at the agent a little later in the webinar. For right now, we're going to focus on MDM. MDM is Apple's built-in framework for managing their products. It's also the prerequisite for declarative management. You'll build profiles that tell your devices the apps and settings they're supposed to have, such as authenticated Wi-Fi or organizational email. Managed devices maintain a persistent outbound connection to Apple's push notification service, which alerts devices when they need to check in to the management server to receive new settings or commands. You can build profiles, which are simple XML files that contain your organizational settings right inside Jamf Pro. Apple has this framework in place, and Jamf leverages it to make sure your Apple device management works. But there's a bit more to the puzzle to unlock all the features Apple has to offer. This brings us to Apple Business Manager, or Apple School Manager if you're an educational institution. These portals connect Jamf devices and app purchases to Jamf Pro. It is also the method to unlock zero-touch enrollment workflows and allows for apps to be distributed over the air even without using Apple IDs. Let's take a look at what these portals have inside. First up, roles. Here's where you delegate responsibility to different team members, like an administrator who can do it all or a content manager who's only able to procure apps. 
Next is the Apps and Books section, formerly VPP or Volume Purchase Program. This is where you manage licenses for content you want to distribute to your devices. A token is generated, which links your procured licenses to your Jamf Pro server. Also, Devices, formerly DEP or Device Enrollment Program. This is where you add your Jamf Pro server and grab another token to enable zero touch enrollment, as well as see all of your organization's purchase devices in one spot. Apple also offers managed Apple IDs, available via Apple Business Manager and Apple School Manager. If you're an educational institution, managed Apple IDs will enable Apple Classroom and Apple Schoolwork. Both businesses and schools can take advantage of shared iPad, organizational iCloud management, and collaboration options with managed Apple IDs. So what do these look like inside Jamf Pro? After uploading the apps and books and automated device enrollment server tokens, you'll see these details populate right inside your Jamf Pro server. You'll see licenses you've purchased as well as licenses deployed. And you'll be able to use what are called pre-stage enrollments to define how devices behave out of the box during Setup Assistant. We'll see more of that in just a second. Those are the Apple services that you'll leverage alongside Jamf and we integrate seamlessly. APNS is the Apple native communication protocol that tells devices to check into the management server for MDM commands and settings. In the back end, Apple Business Manager and Apple School Manager let you set up all of the foundational components for device content, the users in your organization, and zero touch deployment. Next, let's talk about lifecycle management of Apple devices. We'll use this workflow to do it. We'll start by deploying devices, configuring them, installing the right apps, gathering inventory data, ensuring they're secure, and providing our users a unique way to get apps and settings they need without needing to involve IT. We'll start with our zero-touch deployments. The Mac you see on the right is how we give new Jamf employees their Macs with three easy steps. Open the box, power on, there's no step three. This same process works for Mac, iOS, and Apple TV. So let's take a look at the role of an end user and see how this goes. We're booting up our new Mac for the first time. We'll see the same old setup assistant that most Mac users are familiar with, so we'll pick our language, and we'll get connected to Wi-Fi. Now, this doesn't need to be a corporate network at this point. It can be a home or guest network. It just needs to connect to the internet to move forward to the next step, which is the remote management screen. This tells us Apple and Jamf have identified that the Mac is enrolled in Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager and requires management that the end user cannot skip. This next step is to create a local computer account. As an admin, you have the control over what type of account is created. It could be an admin or standard account, or you can skip the step altogether if you're using net network-based accounts. And now our Mac is finalizing the process. You may notice we didn't have to see all of the standard setup assistant steps, as our IT admin used Jamf to skip them because they were deemed unnecessary. And we get to the desktop, and you'll see a little notification in the top right corner. If we zoom in on it, we'll see it says installing software and security settings, check out self-service for more information, heart IT. That's a cute little message from IT and you have creative freedom to say whatever your heart desires, but what happened here? We wirelessly provisioned the device with Jamf thanks to automatic device enrollment with Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. Then we installed software using volume app distribution and then we sent out security settings via Apple's MDM framework. When we zoom back out and look at this user self-service app, we can see that this Mac is fully managed and the user is ready to go. If we go one step further inside system settings and privacy and security, we can see all the profiles and settings Jamf Pro has deployed here. Zero touch deployment is the best option, but if you have an environment that doesn't support that workflow, there are a couple of other methods of enrolling devices. There's user-initiated enrollment, where the end user navigates to a unique enrollment URL to install a profile and complete the process, or account-driven enrollment, which relies on managed Apple IDs and a process called service discovery, which defines your management endpoint via a hosted web file in your organization's domain. No matter which path you choose, getting your device enrolled into management is the first step to success. Now let's dig into device configuration. We'll leverage Apple's MDM framework for this, and there are many options. Here are some examples we've categorized for you. In the basics, you can enforce passcodes, restrictions, or VPN settings. With accounts, you can pre-populate email, calendars, and more. 
Under Security, you can push certificates and enforce Gatekeeper and File Vault. And in Advanced, you can get more control of dock configuration or different accessibility needs. MDM settings are largely universal, meaning the same settings you use to get your Apple TV on the network can also work on your iPads, your iPhones, and your Macs. And MDM is great, but sometimes you need a little bit more for Macs. You need to do more advanced tasks like scripting, package management, printer drivers. And this is why we also have the Jamf management framework for Mac. It includes a Jamf agent that is installed automatically when the Mac is first enrolled. And this framework will help you implement policies, scripts, and complex custom workflows, pretty much anything you can imagine. Finally, I want to talk briefly about declarative device management, which is Apple's next evolution of MDM. With declarations in Jamf Pro, you can set up autonomous workflows like software updates that are enforced on a particular day and time with built-in end-user notification, and status subscriptions that direct devices to simply alert the management server when something has changed. So you always have the most current information about your managed fleet. So when it comes to Mac management, Jamf offers the MDM framework, the added benefits of declarative management, and the Jamf agent for total Mac configuration. So once your devices are deployed and have the right settings applied, your users are gonna need some apps. Let's talk about how this looks in Jamf Pro. We've already talked about apps and books, which allows you to deploy app store content to your managed devices. You can manage the licenses in Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager and assign those licenses to devices or users all without making users enter an Apple ID. But in case the app you need isn't in the Mac App Store, you can rely on the Jamf App Catalog for apps that Jamf offers and maintains. And you can always package and patch your own apps on your own schedule. So we've deployed our devices, configured them, got some apps. Now let's gather some inventory data and make our lives a lot easier with some automation. Jamf Pro collects a ton of inventory data. A few examples you can see here are the computer name, IP address, Mac OS version, installed application titles, and current versions. You can also add custom fields in inventory to capture extra information relevant to your organization. Once that data is in Jamf, we can use it to build various groups. We can build two types of groups. The first type we create is a static group, where we plainly say this set of devices is a group. It could be a building, a specific business unit, a lab, maybe test devices, whatever you'd like. Then after making the group, we can tell Jamf Pro to apply configuration profiles or Jamf agent policies to the group instead of one specific device. Our patented smart group technology kind of works the other way around. So we'll start by saying, find all devices that meet this specific criteria. Jamf Pro will then show you all the devices that fall into that smart group, and you can apply profiles or policies from there. So how does this come in handy? Here are some examples of the group logic we can build, and then we can apply it to groups, both for policies enabled by the Jamf agent and profiles enabled by MDM. Once you find all the devices without a password, you can target that group with the password policy. Or you can find devices that are not encrypted, then target that group with the profile that enables File Vault. Or find devices that are not using your new secure Wi-Fi network and target those devices with the updated profile. With all these smart groups and policies, we can quickly see the help, health of our Apple fleet from the Jamf Pro dashboard. We can easily see how many Macs have File Vault turned on, have the secure Wi-Fi profile in installed, or which ones have the latest operating systems. You can take a snapshot of the dashboard for quick reporting for InfoSec or executives, and export searches as reports, or dive deeper into reporting for auditing and compliance. Jamf Pro gives you full visibility into your Apple devices. Next, let's talk about some security controls. First off, if a Mac ever goes missing, you have some specific commands to help you, such as locking the Mac or remotely wiping it. On the iOS side, you have a few more commands, such as clearing the passcode, setting the wallpaper, enabling lost mode, or shutting down the device. There are many security controls you can leverage with Jamf Pro. Here are some everyday security tasks that IT admins use to keep their Mac secure. I'm going to highlight a few of these, like enforcing a password policy, ensuring it meets a specific degree of complexity, or restricting functionality like the use of a MacBook's camera, or enforcing gatekeeper settings to only allow apps installed from the Mac App Store, and even restricting users from overriding that requirement. 
You can enforce File Vault at a user event, such as the next time they log in. And you can even go so far as to restrict specific apps. If there's a particular software title or known process that you don't want running on your Macs, you can create a restricted software item that says, if a Mac detects this app or process, kill it, and then delete the app from the system. With a device under management, with configurations, apps, and security controls appropriate to your environment, you're in really good shape. So let's talk about empowering your end users. And we do that with the self-service app. Self-service is your end user portal that can be populated by IT approved resources that employees can get with just a click. Easily install software, set up printers, configure email and VPN settings, notify your users about software updates, and then customize the app to be branded with your company's logo. Here we can see self-service in action. The user opens up the Acme app in the dock, the branded version of self-service. They pr can browse the home section to find IT approved apps, resources, printer drivers, maintenance scripts, ebooks, and more. If the user needs something additional, they click install. IT can even set up categories to make it easier for end users to find what they're looking for. There's a history tab to see what's been installed in the past. And finally, we can see any software that needs to be updated. All this is done without our user submitting an IT ticket or waiting for someone from IT to fulfill the request. All these IT tasks can be automated and placed in the hands of the users, no ticket required. By not having to fulfill these service tickets, IT saves time and can focus on other projects. The last section of our session today is infrastructure planning. At the end of the presentation, we'll share out a link to an article that will help network administrators plan for enabling Apple device communication in their organizations. For now, let's talk about the infrastructure of Jamf Pro itself. When we look at Jamf Pro, these are the core components. We have a web application, which is Apache Tomcat in Java. We have a database that the web app talks to, which is MySQL. We have a distribution point, which we call JCDS, the Jamf Cloud Distribution Service. Jamf Pro and your managed devices both communicate to the Apple Push Notification Service. And when your management server needs a device to check in, Apple notifies the device to phone home. All of those pieces of Jamf Pro combined are hosted for you within Jamf Cloud. We have data centers across the globe for cloud customers and upgrades are handled automatically. We use AWS as our hosting infrastructure. For customers with additional needs, we have Jamf Premium Cloud, which allows you to choose when you'd like to upgrade, safe list IP addresses for communicating with Jamf Pro, and more. Of course, Jamf isn't the only software in your environment. We embrace a philosophy of Jamf and, making sure we work with whatever other tools you need to get your job done. And we integrate with third-party infrastructure, such as Active Directory, single sign-on providers, Cisco, ServiceNow, and we have our own API to build your own tools and connections. You can use any single sign-on provider that uses Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML, to log into your Jamf Pro server and provide access to the self-service app. If you're using Cisco, you can leverage Fastlane, which allows you to optimize the performance of mission-critical apps on your network. So, for example, you could give WebEx the highest priority and ensure if someone is streaming a video on their lunch break, that important meeting doesn't have bandwidth issues. You can also integrate with Cisco ISE for network control. You can have ISE look for unmanaged devices on the network and redirect them back to the enrollment screen. And if you're using a Cisco security connector, you can deploy that to your supervised iOS devices to take advantage of those umbrella features. If you have a lot of Microsoft infrastructure, we have an integration there too. You can send all of your Jamf inventory data to Azure AD to provide conditional access to organizational resources, as well as a great user-friendly remediation path. So here's how it works. A device is managed by Jamf and is also registered with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Jamf Pro shares inventory data back to Azure AD by way of our cloud connector. Azure AD then takes a look at the compliance of that device, and if it meets the specific criteria, access to protected company resources is granted. If Azure AD finds the Mac out of compliance, it will block access to those resources and provide a user-friendly remediation experience to get back into compliance. We believe there are two major players in the enterprise and education space, that's Microsoft and Apple, and we believe that Jamf sits right in the middle, 
bringing the two worlds together. So there we have it. Not only do we have the basic infrastructure of Jamf and Apple services, but all the ways we can work with the infrastructure you already have in your environment. And that's it for our session today. As a quick recap, this was Apple Device Management for Beginners. We talked through an overview of what device management means. We reviewed the services and programs that Apple provides to enable device deployments. We also talked through the management lifecycle of Apple devices in Jamf Pro and dug into best practices for infrastructure planning with some technical details to make you successful. But this is just the start of the journey, kind of meant to give you the spark to understand the possibilities of managing Apple with Jamf. Jamf's solutions help organizations of any size successfully manage and secure their growing fleet of Apple devices through the combination of key workflows, device management, the foundational element to serving end users and securing your environment, inventory management, more inventory than anyone with robust integrations via the Jamf Marketplace and Jamf API, app installers for simplified lifecycle management and policies for advanced workflows, automated and seamless enrollment experiences out of the box, BYOD to help embrace user choice and just right management to empower users while protecting their privacy, and self-service, the ultimate end user experience, getting everything a user needs just one click away. This is an article intended for enterprise and education network administrators to provide specific technical guidance for enabling Apple device communication in your organization. Check out that link. And Jamf has an amazing community of users and admins all hanging out on Jamf Nation. This online forum is home to over 100,000 Apple IT-focused individuals that learn from each other, discuss best practices, and have access to a wealth of resources and third-party tools. Create a free account today to join in on the discussion. Check out the Jamf Marketplace with tools and resources to help make the Jamf platform more useful in your environment. We also have a developer portal enabling you to build tools and resources to solve problems and share with others. Jamf also offers more to help you be successful. Our professional services offer a variety of services to help tailor Jamf to your environment. We also offer certification courses led by our training team, become an expert in Jamf and widen your skill sets. Finally, we have world-class support from Apple experts across the globe. We even offer around-the-clock support via our premium support packages. Looking ahead, we hope you'll join us in Nashville, Tennessee for the largest gathering of Apple IT admins in the world. Register now for the best deal.